Well, as we all know, back in March, the pandemic forced many organizations to close. The same goes for area churches. So many of them had to adapt to worshiping virtually. But as News 8 Now's Tyler Job tells us, some churches say the change has been a blessing in disguise. For three months, this is what a church service has been like. The love of God has been poured into our hearts. Echoing sermons. We immediately panicked with nobody to answer. <laughs> I mean, it was like, okay, how are we going to do this? Good Shepherd Lutheran Church did not have a camera system, but others did. We shut down for one week only. The next week we opened up, had uh, full uh, video equipment ready to go. So English Lutheran, Good Shepherd Lutheran, and Our Savior's Lutheran all joined together for an online service. Our numbers those first weeks blew us away. Mark Solist, pastor for English Lutheran Church, says more people than usual suddenly wanted to worship online. Let us pray. We were doing, you know, like 500 logins, which for the industry standard, which I'm told is 1.8 people per login, uh, that would be 900 people. <laughs> the church has even added a puppet show. The In the puppet show is more popular than my sermons. <laughs> God calls us all to different things. But that's helped to keep the kids engaged. He says this isn't what church is supposed to be about, but he's adjusted to this new way of worship. We're doing video and that's going to be a part of the life of our congregation for the unlimited future. The body of Christ. Yet he knows preaching in an empty church can't last forever. There's nothing better than this place just rocking with music. We miss that. We miss so much. In Lacrosse, Tyler Job, News 8 Now. Pastor Solis says the number of people watching live streams has settled down, but worship services are still averaging up to 300 logins. Good Shepherd Lutheran Church will be holding a drive-in service this upcoming Saturday at 4 p.m.